your majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always uh, returning thank you so much for your show of love thank you so much for all that you do for this community to keep growing hope you're well in all your ways your majesties and you loving yourself and others like always all right today i i want us to go back to uganda um of course there is no country in the continent that is not embedded with everything there is no country in the continent that do not have everything. Like we have all that we need. All right. We have everything to keep us sustained. The creator made Africa and everything is in it. Like we do not lack anything. There was no reason. There is no reason for us to have been running up and down to go search for a greener pasture. Because everything we want are here. Now to the president of Uganda. He said something. <clears throat> During this time of um, Niger uranium issue with the French government and these other things happening down the Sahel, that he was also confronted, like he was approached by them, all right, to sell to them their uranium. You know, Uganda have lots of uranium as well. So he was approached. And the reply he gave to these people got me, like, I laughed when I when I when I was going through this. And I told myself, I spoke to myself that it serves these people right. Because there's this feeling that they're beginning to have. Like when you talk about Africans, they don't know anything. They are stupid people. They don't know what to do with whatever they have. They don't even know the worth of those things. I don't even blame them, blame ourselves because we're the ones that push ourselves out like foolish people. So they look at us like that. That's how I, I, I came to know recently. When, when this crisis started, we started getting information that apparently Niger is exporting a lot of uranium to Europe and to France for them to, to use in their nuclear uh, power stations to generate electricity for themselves. So this morning I took interest. I said, by the way, what is the electricity supply in Niger? Before you sell uranium to the other person, how about you? What's happening to you? Now I found, I was told, there is a measurement they call kilowatt kilowatt hour per capita kilowatt hour per capita uh -huh. apparently the kilowatt hour per capita of electricity in Niger is 51 51 every person in, in, in Niger is using 51 kilowatt hour per capita uh, the, G the GDP of Niger is US dollar 613. Now, here in Uganda, our kilowatt hour per capita was very low, was like this in the, uh, some years ago. was as low as this one of, of, uh, of Niger. But now it's about 300. Still very low. But that's where it is. Then how about the United States? What is the kilowatt hour per capita of the United States? 12,000. Uh, 12,000. And there is a country called Iceland. It has got a lot of electricity. Uh, of course, they have got a small population but it is 54,000. Now, Uganda has got a lot of uranium. Some years ago, a Western company came and proposed to mine, to mine the uranium. They came here, said they want, want to mine the uranium. I asked them, mine it and take it where? They said, export it. That was their answer. I asked them, export it for what purposes? They told me,
for the purposes of generating nuclear energy for electricity and other uses such as medicine, vector control, etc. I then asked them, have you had a rumor that there are some human beings here in Uganda who need electricity, who need nuclear medicine, and who need vector control services? I asked them, you want to take the uranium, but have you had a rumor that there are some human beings here? It's not confirmed that they are there, but could, could it be a rumor that there are some human beings here? Why don't you propose to build that capacity here for the, bene for the benef benefit of these human beings who live in Uganda? And maybe we can put aside some quantity of uranium for supporting the economies of our friends in the West. After that, after you, you have addressed my issue, I can also share with you, so that you, you also go and solve yours. But to tell me that you solve my problems and forget yours, I, I cannot accept that. They never came back. They never came back. So the uranium of Uganda is sleeping in, in the ground until we are ready to use it. We have now agreed with the Russians and the Koreans to build two nuclear power stations for electricity of 15,600 megawatts total. Imagine, just two stations will produce 15,000 megawatts. One 7,200 megawatts, the other one 8,400 megawatts. Our biggest dam on the Nile is the Karuma with 640 megawatts. The, the hydro, the hydro. For your majesties, I hope you all, you all heard that. And it, it drew my mind to what happened, I think it was the last year, um, what Elon Musk came to tell one of the ministers, um, Adibite, all right, the minister of mine and steel, Adibite, he was told, Elon Musk told him that he wanted to come and mine lithium. And um, he proposed some beautiful, huge amount of dollars, <laughs> hoping that um, Adibite would say, okay, let's, let's go ahead, sign the papers. Okay, I'm going to tell the boss at the top this is happening. He was surprised to, to have been told that if he really needs the lithium, uh, that he should come and build, all right? He should come and build a factory. He should build a battery making factory in the continent of Africa if he needs to mine lithium in Nigeria. <laughs> and guess what? Mm, mm, mm. Elon went. And never came back. And this is what they always do. You do not want them mentioning, but I believe those those companies that Western companies left and never came back. When they discover that you put them down, they don't come back because, of course, they never had the intention of the people. I mean, you heard you heard what he asked them. Have you heard a rumor that there are human beings living here? <laughs> Because they only see themselves as people. They don't see other people. At least he asks, at least you should have heard a rumor, even though you just heard the rumor that there might be a human being living in, in, in Uganda that needs the uranium that you want to come and mine and take it out and export it. If it were, if it were some leaders, they would just ask, okay, what would be my share? It, 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 it can be, it's annoying, but it's the truth. They will just ask, okay, how much are you going to sell to me? And they'll give them go ahead and pretend as if they never knew that some people are doing something some way. Or they will even help them to destabilize the, the state, like what is happening in the northern part of Nigeria. These people are coming to mine lithium in, 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 in a, within Sokoto, Zamfara. 
there are lots of uh, lithium deposited around the part that uh, Boko Haram is, 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 is pronounced. Around Meduguri, there are, there are deposits of lithium in the ground. Sorry, of um, Californium. Sorry, Californium. They, they, they displaced these people. Oh, there's Boko Haram, there's terror, there's whatever. They, these people lost their home. They, you know, they, they, a lot lost their lives to run away. Only for, for later we discovered that it was the government that collived with these people. You know them. Hmm? They collived with them to come. They'll be coming with helicopters in the night to come and, and, and steal the lithium and go away. It's stealing because our governments are thieves with them as well. Because by the time they go away with it, they'll pretend in the, in the records of the nation's record, you won't see anything like that. So they wouldn't want people to know that something is there. It's their back business that they do to support their pockets. And you begin to wonder what are these people doing with the money? At the end of that, eh, they will make this money and still take it to their bank. To switch bank, to which bank, what do you call them? They'll go and bank their money outside. After stealing with them here, they'll take the money to them again. And at the end, they'll die and leave the money. Nobody will know anything. See, hmm. your majesties, the, the, the level that we are, we need to do serious homeworks in our various countries in the, in the continent. Your majesties, serious homework. If you're in the diaspora, try to start looking for where you belong to and start your own homework. Because you have to partake. We need to do serious homework because the, the corruption of our people, of our leaders. <laughs> That's why Jagaban is scared now he's inviting a, US, a, a, a British worship. Because he knows, they knows what they are doing. And the very man that came out and exposed them, they tried to frustrate the man and imprison him for many years. It was later he came out. This is what they do to us. When we are blessed with everything, we have everything, but we have bad leadership, wickedness, those who have collived with the devil to bring us down. They are also devils because when you walk with something, you are that thing. What do you think, Your Majesty? Leave your comment and thought there the section, and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others, stay safe, stay positive, always, Your Majesty. Bye for now.